This is the story of how to change the world. In 1977, a seaplane carrying a medical team from the World Health Organization descended on a place called Bola Island, nestled in the world's largest delta. Their mission, monitor and eradicate a deadly and highly contagious virus, first documented in China and easily spread by droplets from a cough or a sneeze. It sounds familiar, but this is the story of smallpox. And the guy coming off the plane? That's Dr. Larry Brilliant, who would go on to co-found the SIVA Foundation treating blindness and later lead Google's worldwide philanthropy. But back then, in this impoverished island community of Bangladesh, he had arrived to observe two-year-old Rahima Banu, the last known case of killer smallpox. After some 3,000 years, the fact that such a widespread disease could be whittled down to one little girl was an extraordinary feat, capping off a monumental global effort. Banu survived, by the way. To understand how it happened and what lessons might be applied to COVID-19, let's take a step back and have a look at how we got here. Egypt may claim the earliest cases. Three out of every 10 people who got it died. And wealth couldn't save you either. Egyptian Pharaoh Ramses V succumbed. So did Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. It went on to kill emperors in Japan, queens in England and Sweden, kings in Spain and France, and a czar in Russia. Something had to be done. Early vaccination efforts began in the late 1700s with mixed results. And as medical technologies evolved, so did the push to stamp it out. On January 1st, 1967, the World Health Organization began a project called the Intensified Smallpox Eradication Program. Earlier eradication efforts had failed, just as they had against malaria and yellow fever. But these scientists had the benefit of something their predecessors didn't better technology. Prior vaccines were no good in hot climates, but with heat-resistant vaccines and a better way to deliver them, the path to eradication was opening. Still, it couldn't work without heavy surveillance followed by containment. The idea was to get into communities early, test and isolate those who had been infected, then vaccinate all of those in the immediate area. By 1980, it had worked. Smallpox became the only human disease to have been completely eradicated. Fast forward to 2006. A more seasoned Larry Brilliant offered a warning during a TED Talk. The world isn't ready for the next big one. Medical supplies and advanced warning systems were in no shape for a pandemic, and Larry called for investment in a new global system to stop deadly viruses before they could spread. I did a study of the top epidemiologists in the world, and they thought that if there was a pandemic, a billion people would get sick. As many as 165 million people would die. There would be a global recession and depression, and the cost to our economy of $1 to $3 trillion, the consequences are almost unthinkable. 